Chasing the Racing. Powered by Colchester Kawasaki, part of the Global Moto Group. We supply new Aprilla, Moto Guzzi, Vespa, Royal Enfield, Kawasaki, Sim, Mutt and Benelli motorcycles. Three, two, one and welcome back to Chasing the Racing. Recording. <laughs> we are recording. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's already announced it straight into the bat. Uh, we are back on Chasing the Racing. I am joined by the seductive yet mysterious Joe Ackroyd and our guest today is the 2021 world champion top rack and you're gonna say the surname Raz Gatlioglu you say not a chance <laughs> you try did I get it right it was my pronunciation yeah this is a good right? yeah. yeah Raz okay, Gatlioglu Raz, Raz, Raz nah I'm you try, Ra- yeah. Raz <laughs> 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 Just think of a top rack. First of all, you know, we're having a bit of a chat off air and you couldn't have had the worst two accents coming out of England to interview you. So yeah. I I would like to apologise straight away. Cause it... Now I am just scared because uh, not easy to understand you and so also you. If we... Yeah. If we, if we... <laughs> not, uh, doesn't change for me, you know. If we slow down then... Thank you very much. That's better for you. Now perfect understanding. Okay. Do you speak any other languages? Turkish. Just <laughs> <laughs> He's as quick as his lap times, Joe. We're in yeah, trouble. Yeah, Turkish. we are in trouble. And uh, Irish. I know a little bit Irish. Irish. Yeah, Irish. what's the crack? What's the crack? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's the crack? Yeah. And also, I'm just uh, talking a little bit Spanish and Italian language, but just, uh, you know, uh, come stai and que pasa to you, you know, just this. Que tal, mi amigo? Yeah. No, you're showing off. Just say, you know, morning (laughs) and how are you? Yeah. That's enough. Oh, good. This is okay, I think. (laughs) Do do any of your teams. I'm just a joke. (laughs) (laughs) Do any of your teams speak Turkish? No. 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 Really? So everything is done. Just say the. the, the, some mechanics, uh, no. Good morning, you know, the Gunaiden. Yeah. Is not easy. Yeah. Better you don't say. Yeah. Uh, you say, please, Gunaiden. Gunaiden. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I like it. Yeah. yeah, you don't try. You don't. <laughs> <laughs> He's got me sussed and we've already just met. <laughs> um, where's your crew chief from then? Uh, Irish. He's Irish? He's Irish. Right. But I am understanding. Uh, so that's He's why He's talking uh, with me the real English. Not uh, the different. Uh, uh, not the Irish. Not the Irish. Yeah. The Irish is uh, looks like a different language. <laughs> I think it's different language. <laughs> you are talking with me. I am understand, but first, you know, I uh, I talking with you. You know, zero oh, understand. <laughs> Why I say you, please, you talk a little bit slow. I need to understand uh, the question. You know. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we are a good starting. Good, no, no, yeah. Let's get into motorbikes. Good, yeah. motorbikes. Oh, no, no, but it's like that's, um, a bit of a background on this show. Um, it was started by another, we, we're called Geordies in the Northeast. Mm. Um, it was me and another Geordie lad who were uh, called Chrissy Rouse. And he came up with this idea off the podcast. And he, um, he sadly lost his life here mm. last year in October um, at a BSB race. And I, I must say, he'd be over the moon that you're, you're sitting in his studio on his chair. Yeah. So th- honestly, thank you so much. No, right and on. I'm over the moon to say that you wouldn't understand him either. So your Yorkshire is considerably better than anything else we have The yet. first, you know, I come to here, <clears throat> I'm scared because you close the door. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I'm the, scared. The, the van is. The van is also, you know, the small. I say, why? What happened here? <laughs> you know? I look, you've got two bodyguards, Emma. And yeah, <laughs> straight off the bat. Sarah. 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 Yeah. Emma, Sarah. Yeah. Oh, this is going really well. <laughs> really well. So, um, what what we like to do on the show is, um, how did it start for you? Your dad was a stunt rider. Yeah. So, like. Talk me through that. You know, what was your first memory on a bike? And uh, my dad, uh, I remember just his uh, the wheelie. You know, uh, I, I, you know, I, I remember his ride the bike, but always the wheelie. And I see also the stoppy. You know, why I'm very good with the stoppy for this because I learning the stoppy. I think nine years old, ten years old. Yeah, it's very young. And you're, and, you're uh, twenty six now. Yes. 25? Yeah, 25. I'm getting old now. Yeah, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> and I learning also the rear brake with the wheelie and eight, seven years old. Wow. Yeah, yeah. What? I have uh, the, the Yamaha uh, PV80, you yeah. know, the PV80, uh, the rear brake, not the disc, 
you know, <laughs> drum. It's a drum. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, and I use the, the rear brake a lot with the disc bike. I learning with first uh, PV80. Yeah, a little bit softer the brake. Yeah, it's softer, not yeah. easy the control. Yeah, you know? yeah, 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 not like yeah. a disc. Yeah. Uh, how did your dad become a stunt rider? What was his first like? You know, first I see the my dad. He is uh, always uh, the riding bike and always he's the wheelie and the stoppy. I'm start directly like a stunt. Uh, the rider you know mm. and uh, I also maybe 10 years maybe less I don't know I'm uh, the, a lot uh, riding the stunt like a stunt mm. uh, style but in Turkey not many stunt rider <laughs> not a professional and also I am okay starting I use the rear brake maybe the, the first uh, I use the rear brake uh, I but uh, very young, you know, mm. I'm just riding the small bike, not a big bike. One time I try a 600 bike uh, with a stunt, but uh, just one year and after I'm start to race. So and what year were you when you started racing? I'm start to race uh, 13, maybe 14 years okay. old. That Before I go to just the motocross. Right. Yeah. And also I'm uh, go to the stunt. The mm. Not the championship, but I go to stunt uh, just the show mm. with my father, and uh, and also I go to the motocross races. I did just a 50 cc, 65, 85, and after stop, I right. go to the jump directly uh, road racing. Directly, I ride 600. Wow. Yeah, not uh, the 125, not 250. I'm riding directly 600, but from an eight, from 85. Yeah, 85. <laughs> after uh, 11, 11 years old. Yeah, 11 wow. maybe 12 years old. I jumped. Uh, I move uh, the 600 bike directly with my father, and uh, the first I'm really excited because uh, I don't know. It looks like it's good. Mm. First I riding, and I try to touch the, my knee, but not touching the first day. And after finish the, the session, I'm continue riding because the Turkish Federation is uh, uh, the helping for uh, this. Right. Yeah. And in the night, first time I touch my knee, unbelievable feeling because, uh, you know, the first time and I touched my knee and it's unbelievable, the feeling. Joe's still waiting. Yeah, no, never, <laughs> never got my knee down. Why? I'm kidding. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, and after two years, I'm riding in Turkish Championship, and after go to directly uh, Germany R6 Cup. Yeah. Wow. Uh, Fifteen then? Fifteen, sixteen? Uh, or younger? Fourteen. Fourteen. Maybe yeah. Cup. Fourteen, yeah. What's the in Be why why I'm go to the Germany Championship because the before Canon also Canon Sofoglu also go to the Germany yeah. R6 Cup, you know I'm follow the same way hmm. yeah because yeah. we don't know the different way we know the Canon go to here yeah and we go directly 2011 and 12 I'm riding uh, R6 Cup Germany Championship and uh, the first year is is not good. But second year for me is a, is a big step because first I go to the, the Europe, mm. I see the riders, I'm surprised because in Turkey I'm fast, but the Europe is completely different yes. I, because I, the Turkey is a level is very I mm, was going low. to say in, in Turkey, what is the uh, how, what is the championship and the options? Is, is there a lot of... Uh, is there many championships or is in, it a very in small? In Turkey, you know, we have a group A, B, C. Okay. Yeah, like really? like how, motocross. How many tracks do you I have? don't know the motocross, mm. but uh, how many tracks? Uh, the before, we have just used one. Right. And okay. 2011, 12, 13, we use Istanbul Park. Yeah. And after Istanbul Park is close, close for the, the motorcycle because uh, the one guys rent the Istanbul Park. Okay. is very the rich guy yeah. the rent Istanbul Park and uh, no more racing the moto uh, motorcycle and also the uh, the car race mm. is close and now still use uh, the Izmir is a small track and not like Istanbul Park not a professional 
but still is good and also I'm enjoying a lot and uh, last time I write uh, this track 2014 and after uh, first I say also you know after R6 Cup uh, 2012 you know, uh, I'm not get, do, did a good job because uh, I'm not really fast. I did just uh, the podium, some podiums. And after the finish the season, I'm looking. I don't have the, the way, good way. Mm. I say, okay, we go to Rookies Cup selection. Mm. We go to Rookies Cup selection. And, uh, and after 2013 and 14, I write the Rookies Cup. And... Also for me is not good uh, two years. Just I did uh, three podium. I think one the winning and maybe two three podium again. And and after I don't have the way because everything is finished for me. And with the rookies cup, you know, very small bike mm. and I'm very tall. You know, I'm not easy riding. And after Canon help him help me because uh, he's also still riding a super sport world championship. And he's take me in Magnicourt 2014, last race uh, from uh, for Super Stock, Stock Europe, yeah. yeah. The last race, he's he's take me, he's bring me, and uh, I ride the one Kawasaki bike, but the team is very low level, and always uh, the team bike finish the race uh, 15, the 16 is like this, mm. and. I don't know the Magnicur track. The for me is the first time. The, I don't know the Kawasaki 600 bike. That before I am just ride R6 Cup. Sorry, and R6 Cup, and after also still riding R6 Yamaha R6. First time I ride Kawasaki, I'm winning the the race in Magnicur, and uh, and and also the team team is crying. I see the old guys. They never is have cry, yeah, because of before always the 15 and 16 position. I see the guys cry, and uh, and after we are signed with the Puchetta Racing for the 2015 Stock 600, and also the win the championship, and uh, and after my career is starting 15 2015, and 16 and 17, I am riding Stock 1000 bike because why? Normally my dream. Uh, the teammate with Canon Sofolo because this is the dream. Yes, uh, yeah. two Turkish rider, you know, the teammate and riding the 600. But can I say I have a dream for you, the super bike, hmm. not the super sport. And he say also we follow the stock thousand. And I say okay because I don't have the option. Hmm. But inside say no, I say okay. Yeah. Because uh, the, my dream is a different. But uh, I am very happy. I say okay because now I am a world champion with a superbike, and uh, the his dream, the superbike rider, one day is a world champion. Yeah. Now I am very happy. Okay, this is a very long way, but uh, we come to the step by step. This is very good. So, uh, sorry, it, go it's no, it's just like what you achieved, what you have achieved in such a short period of time is incredible. As how easy. Is it was it for you to go from motocross to tarmac racing, like road racing? How easy was that transition? First, I say you know, uh, the motocross. I am not riding really professional because mm. you know I say again Turkish uh, the motorcycles level not really high. Yes, yeah. And after I moved uh, the uh, road racing, I'm not feeling big different. Yeah. And also, just, I'm a, I am a young. No. Yeah. No, yeah, I am also the young, yeah, you know. Yeah, yeah. Normally, I am riding uh, the little bit uh, the normal road road racing bike before. Yeah, mm. yeah. Just uh, the for me is the biggest, biggest difference, you know, the, the more lean angle, yeah. try to touch the knee. This is the for me is the big, biggest difference. Yeah. But you've been wheeling stoppies as, and a, also, as a kid. And so. uh, also, yeah, I'm also, the wheelie is easy for me, the 600. Yeah. Just the problem. Uh, too fast but when you when <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when you came from I have a picture also yeah the helmet is very big yeah. the body very small <laughs> but the bike is really 600 bike yeah when when you came from the motocross to the road racing though you already had throttle control 
you already felt comfortable on a motorbike. First, I understand, you know, the 600 big power. Yeah, yeah. It was really fast bike. Uh, but I'm easy to adapt. I'm never scared. Yeah. I, I think I'm lucky. I'm never scared. After crash, not scared. This is uh, good for me. Yeah. So when you went from motocross to 600, so what? how hard or how much did you have to adjust yourself from a 600 to a 1,000 superbike? Was there much more to learn in your mind? And, you know, after I moved 85, 85cc uh, with the motocross, mm. I remember now, biggest problem, the, I'm staying with the bike, just one uh, leg. <laughs> yeah, because I'm very small, you know. Yeah. And, uh, and also sometimes my father helping me. And after 600,000 move, uh, I'm lucky we have also stock 1,000 category. Mm. Yeah. I'm learning the 1,000 uh, style. Yes. This is good. Now is thousand, uh, you know, stock thousand, not uh, more races here. This is, I think, is not good mm. for the young generation. I am very lucky. I am riding thousand cc bike. The first year I am riding really, really standard Kawasaki bike, because the Kawasaki not already to the stock thousand 2016 is a new bike. Yeah. And I am really riding the the standard bike because I have a horn. Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> We, yeah, really standard bike. Yeah, <laughs> the normal uh, dashboard, you yeah, know, standard yeah. dashboard. Uh, yeah. Everything is same and stop. You know the the light. Yeah. Also s standard one. Did he ever use the horn? Passing uh, people. But the, the <laughs> horn is uh, not to connect the bike. You know. Oh, <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> beep, beep, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm uh, try, but not uh, the working. <laughs> Yeah. Come, come back in but and reconnect 2000, 2017, I ride a more race bike. Hmm. So yeah. now, and now the in the World Superbike paddock, you have the Ninja 300 Super Sport Superbike. Yeah. No stock class for the 1,000, which makes very difficult to hmm. make from for 600 me, to For me, my to opinion, superbike. okay, 300 this is a good category, but for uh, the 1,000, I think... Okay, maybe you don't you don't need this uh, stock six hundred, but thousand you know stock thousand you need. Yeah. Mm. You need to learn before then uh, uh, world super bike. Yeah. I think, my opinion, because I am lucky. I am learning the bike style because two thousand eighteen. Okay, I am still riding the super bike, but not like maybe Johnny's style, because the super bike always you need to pick up. Mm. Yeah, stop and need to pick up for acceleration. I'm also still try to learn 2018, and also I'm thinking the uh, finish the race career because I'm not the fast. Every race uh, I'm finished uh, 12, 13, 14, sometimes 10, and I'm not happy because Canon is a big sport and Turkey is uh, the big sport. You know, the Red Bull is a big sport, but I'm. Uh, not really fast i'm not uh, the top five i'm always finished race 10 and 12 i say okay maybe this year's uh, last year for me and after i go back home you know uh, maybe i work with uh, my brother the we have a shop motorcycle shop we are give the bike rent i'm uh, working with my brother and we are living you know together i'm thinking this 2018 almost you know uh, stop the motorcycle Wow. And uh, when I'm come to here, yeah, uh, 2018, my first uh, uh, podium with the Kawasaki, and I'm finished the race second position. Uh, sorry, but I beat the Johnny here. <laughs> uh, maybe he's uh, some uh, problem uh, here. And uh, and also 2018, the last race in Argentina, I did again the podium. Mm. And 2019 is uh, coming a little bit different top rack and uh, the mini podium and Magni Cour in France I did first uh, the winning with the Superbike career and for me is the best um, the winning because this is the the world championship is a my career and the first winning always uh, is the best one yeah and and after 2020 we are signed with uh, Yamaha and because Yamaha believe me, 
and 2020 okay we are very good starting first race we are winning in uh, australia australia and after we are a little bit drop and again still the try to fighting uh, with the championship because okay different bike i'm directly winning but after you know we are feeling some drop and uh, but 2021 we are full focus because before i'm not believed in my bike i'm always talking with the canon i say this bike not ready for the championship this bike not ready for the championship i'm always say this and but canon say this bike is the best bike uh, in the paddock or can always talking with me like this yes yeah and and after the finally i am believe the bike and 2021 we are start is very good and especially after the half season we are winning a lot and uh, not easy year because the, the championship finished the last race and but we are uh, the world champion the finally and this is the my dream uh, this is really important for me 2021 because uh, the my father you know uh, every day working for me and we are also go to the you know the Germany uh, R6 Cup yeah we don't have the money yeah that we are also can uh, my my father always uh, sell the bike and after we go to the race and also rent the bike and we go to the race you know always uh, like this and finally I am here but he's not see because he died 2017 oh sorry uh, yeah he died 2017 he's not see the 2021 we are the world champion oh. yeah he's died with the bike yeah he's low with the bike he's died with the bike oh, yeah. sorry to hear that no problem. sorry to hear that yeah because that was gonna be yeah, that's Jonathan Ray. Yeah, right. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Where is Top Rank? <laughs> the okay, we are lucky he's close here. Yeah, yeah, this is it? the police looking for you. <laughs> <laughs> he's not on here. Promise you that. Promise you that. So that that was going to be one of my questions was how did you afford to do it, which you've answered, because there's only been four big names to come out of Turkey and you being one of them you um, Keenan Keenan and then uh, Dennis and Can on Dennis and Can and good. Bahattin yeah yeah I, I can't I can't pronounce his name Bahattin Bahattin, yeah. Bahattin yeah. which is Keenan's nephew uh, the Canon is like a cousin right yeah because he's going well in, in yeah the, it's uh, not bad yeah so Especially after 300 and 600, you know, a completely different bike. Yeah, yeah. He's uh, every day getting better. He's keen and uh, managing, coaching. He's doing everything. He d just keeps. He's kind of now also my manager and yeah. looks like more than man uh, manager because, like a brother, yeah. you know, uh, first time I am started with him 2014, you know, and now is. Uh, it's like uh, my brother, you know, my big brother. In we are always together. Uh, we are living uh, the same city, and because we have a truck, small truck, we are always training together. Not the training, sorry, always race together. <laughs> and uh, he's still uh, strong. And the last time, six months ago, he's crashed. Uh, the we are training together. He's crashed with me. He's uh, uh, the what's the name? Uh, ACL knee. Knee, but uh, what's this? Uh, what's the name? Uh, Kneecap. Yeah, I'm not, I'm not great with the. The like a muscle, muscle here. What's the name? Oh, is a broken here. Really? Well, uh, just that bit. That that bit. Anyway, <laughs> that yeah, bit. it's a bad one. <laughs> and he's uh, six months not ride a bike. Wow. Yeah, two days ago I speak with him. With the, he's called me and after the race I'm waiting you he said this <laughs> <laughs> always so race straight not, uh, from here training. to go racing yeah yeah, yeah. yeah after uh, Dunnington Park Do I have a more race you know, you know yeah 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 so did it always start out with him that he just sort of took you and looked after you or did he step in and say we need to get another Turkish rider you have the, the talent 
I'm <laughs> going to put you in touch with them and I'm gonna put or did he always come into a managerial sort of job with now, you? Now now his job like okay, now uh, we are work together. Yeah. He is uh, not just uh, helping the training, also, you know, the, the mental also, he's really strong. He's a really good guy. Mm. And uh, he's also helping the, in the mental. I am always uh, call him before the race. I'm always talking with him. Mm. And his talk is enough. He don't need to watch the race. He don't need to watch the FP1, FP2. He's just talking with me. I'm more relaxed. Good. And, and I am always, uh, this is my style, I don't know. You know the grid. We are always talking. Uh, uh, if he has come here, we are always talking the the different things, not the race. Yeah, in the grid, I, I am yeah. talking always the different things, not yeah. the race. I am more relaxed like this. Hmm. If I am always talking the race, yeah. uh, some plan, I don't like. I feeling uh, the stress. Hmm. Are you not like that? I am always. TT? I when whenever I sat on the grid for the tt my friends i would say talk about anything else but the race yeah. i don't want to talk about just talk to me about that bird over there or yeah. <laughs> what we're having for tea or any <clears throat> talk about anything else the same thing yeah because yeah. you stress yourself but this is not his plan maybe I, i'm always uh, relaxing like this it's good do you not do that i think it's good do you not i don't I think it's um it's a, it's all a, like a blur for me. I can't really <laughs> like like it. Just gets you do get like pressure on that side, but it's it's great that you can relax fully before going. Do you feel like a lot of riders around you aren't like you? They're more stressed. I, I, I say also, you know, I am also never feeling stress. Um, two thousand twenty one, my last race. Hmm. The sh- I, you know, I am winning. Maybe I am finished the race second position. I am a world champion. You know. But I'm not feeling the stress before, because I'm always thinking the the different things, you know. And just I feeling the big stress, the in the race weekend, the Wednesday. And because in the night, before the sleep, I'm thinking the 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 championship because, okay, I'm maybe the world champion this weekend. Uh, after the race, you know. I try to stop you or really what what you know I I'm <laughs> yeah I'm thinking this how do I celebrate yeah how yeah I celebrate, to celebrate yeah. yeah I'm thinking this <laughs> and I'm sleep at, I need at to 3 make o'clock sure I thank them. I'm sleep yeah. at 3 o'clock before I'm not sleeping I'm feeling the stress I'm thinking thinking you know that was Wednesday I say night. after okay I'm not thinking more uh, the race weekend I'm just try to enjoy Whose um, idea was it for the gold levers? You know, when you won uh, the championship? The idea, I think... Was this on a Wednesday? Uh, I, I think, yeah. <laughs> no. Wednesday, you Wednesday, and, just like... <laughs> yeah, just, <laughs> I've got a great idea. I think, the, yeah, I think we use gold to... Uh, so gold. Yes, maybe. <laughs> Head to toe, gold. <laughs> Make it nice and subtle. Before, I am not see the, the suit. Cannon not show me. Mm. Oh, yeah. it was Cannon's idea. That we are talk together yes but he's not show me the uh, helmet mm. and uh, the suit you only get to see them if you win the championship i i am a win the championship i see then the, the suit them, and yeah. the helmet what what but sorry unbelievable hot feeling with the chrome you know yeah. unbelievable <laughs> i'm almost uh, you know i thought that would have reflected but, you know you know after the race everything is finished you know we are the world champion it's all okay and I'm waiting in the, the podium, you know. I'm open the front here. Can I say, okay, close, close. <laughs> I say, I'm it's not, not good hot. feeling now because very hot. I'm almost, you know, uh, Dizzy. Uh, yeah, it's very bad. I open here. He say, looks not nice here, <laughs> close here. <laughs> As for me, it's uh, not easy uh, after the, the celebrate, sorry. It was easier to race. Huh? Yeah, was, easy to race, race. Easy. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and also very hot, you know, Indonesia, yeah. unbelievable. Yeah. yeah. What um, what is your most difficult track? You know, you were talking about Aragon. the heat there. Aragon. Aragon. That was sh- no no Aragon. time to think about that yeah, one. No, yeah. Yeah. Aragon, yeah. What? Why? What? Why? Why? I don't know. Fair enough. It's just that it's that's your track. It's not that's easy, your... yeah. And Do because you... of this track, also the riding style, not like uh, my style. 
Did just you... some corner uh, uh, I am strong but the other corners long corners yeah. you know this is not like uh, my style Do you okay yeah, I, I'm not say I'm not like it but not like uh, my favorite you know I like all track but I'm not really strong in Aragon you don't think oh guys Aragon you don't get like that no I'm it's not like, say oh, this okay. so, yeah Aragon, I'm just a little smiling. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is enough. Yeah, yeah. So, um, what's more your style then? Stop, like, what's your favorite track here? Yeah. yeah. Right? So, is that as well because this is where you had your. Okay, after race, we are talking again. You. <laughs> <laughs> no, I like it, uh, this track, and Magnicur, and Indonesia. I like these uh, three tracks. It looks like my favorite tracks. You like it here as well because yeah, you're here first, is nice. your first podium. And not just this, because you don't see the corner, you know. You like that. Yeah, I like corners. that, yeah. 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 You know, uh, the last year I go to Cadwell Park. I, I, well, I was going to yeah. bring that up, yeah, uh, go again. And I go to the Cadwell Park, I love it. Okay, it's narrow. How narrow did that feel yeah, to you? Because but, even to us, But I know, like it's... it because you don't see the some corner. I am enjoying Talk to us about the mountain. Normally, I'm go to the new track. I'm very quickly learning. Yeah, mm. yeah. Very uh, just I don't. I need just the two laps, and after I know all corners. <laughs> Did you like the mountain? The jump? I jumping. Yeah. You like it? Yeah. Yeah. You see the video? <laughs> yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah. It's okay. <laughs> like I'm no more talking. <laughs> so, have you? I, before I speak with uh, Shaki. Yeah. Uh, he say first lap you look. Second lap, you try a little bit for understand. Lap three, you jump. You did exactly I did same, that. Exactly the same, yeah. <laughs> Last one, I'm jumping. Yeah. That's straight fast. But also the big problem, I'm my injury here, because I'm a big crash in Catalonia test. And here is also... Um, the Infection. Yeah. Infection. And, and also I'm not uh, the move a lot here. Yeah. And... If I'm not feeling this, maybe more jumping. <laughs> Higher. Yeah. Higher and further. And also, we are riding, you know, not a uh, full race bike. No, we are stock. Ride, uh, stock bike, yeah, yeah. exactly. And uh, and also, I closed the uh, traction. Okay. Because why I'm closed traction? BSP not use traction. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I say, why I'm use now here uh, traction control? In Cadwell Park, I'm not use traction. Even playing failed. That's a good feeling. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, after a long time. Yeah, a little bit scared. <laughs> yes. <laughs> could, could, have you uh, ever thought about the BSB <clears throat> doing all the circuits? Sorry. Have you ever wanted to do all the BSB? Uh, all the short circuits. If BSB use traction control, maybe I'm uh, racing uh, one day. One day. <laughs> one yeah. day. Yeah. Does that? D does, maybe the Catwell Park. I don't know. Does the electronic because Cadwell Park is not after jump, especially you know the yeah yeah very nice, <laughs> I like it. So does not having traction control it's that bothers you? Yeah, because now I use traction control a lot because uh, the super bike turn. everybody yeah, yeah. use, and if you jump directly no traction control bike, this is not not easy riding. Yeah, we have seen that in the British Championship when riders have come from World Superbikes back to the BF BSB. Yeah. And it, it's not an easy transition. Exactly. Because, like, Tom Sykes yeah. spent a lot of time riding the Kawasaki with the traction control. Very, very fast. And also, but my riding style is similar, like, uh, like uh, 600 style. Because I'm not all corner exit, open full gas directly. I'm always uh, riding, like, more smooth feed mm. feeding yeah. and throttling i feeling the grip i open more okay yeah. also traction is working but more like uh, the the linear you know yeah. i open gas i feeling the grip open more if i feeling spin i'm waiting with the same gas you know i'm also try to improve the, the grip not always uh, the open gas and waiting the full gas like this because mm. like you would think, like with traction control, that is the advantage, being able to fully open. Yeah, but sometimes not good because the first directly aggressive gas, hmm. directly spin and working a lot traction control, like not easy acceleration after. With 
with your uh, signature, your style of corner entry with the back wheel off the ground and being able to do that consistently, how does your crew chief get an engine braking strategy out of you? Because you just. My biggest <laughs> problem also engine brake. Because yeah. you don't I'm use it. I'm always saying engine brake not working. No, it's because the back yeah. wheel's not on the ground. <laughs> and after we see the, the picture, we are understand why not working engine brake. <laughs> no, no, really. Uh, if I'm not feeling rear up down and some stoppy, I feeling, oh, okay, I'm not uh, try hard braking. This is like uh, my uh, reference. If I feeling bike stop not easy, I say okay. I'm try the good braking. If I feeling rear up down, bike not too easy stopping. I say okay. I try the you good braking. Brake harder. Because I'm not like uh, you know. Sometimes the, my friend ask uh, how do you try the hard braking. I say you know. First I try the braking, bike easy stopping. I understand. I try more hard braking. I need uh, some. Uh, after try to hard braking, you need to go white to your e dial line, and after you are understand which area is better for you the braking point. I'm always try more and more and more, and after I understand the, the which corner I try hard braking, I bike stop or not. At general, I'm not go white because I'm always stopping the bike, but uh, when I'm feeling rear up down, I say okay, it's good braking. You see, you know the. I know, but, but I don't, you, you, you don't. I, you, you, like, I, I don't know how you never took the front. Uh, or you very rarely took the front on the brake. Maybe I'm a good feeling front. Yeah. <sighs> maybe, maybe. And also, you know, the rear. Maybe. The especially, <laughs> you know, rear up and down. You know, also the control is good yeah. because I feeling rear up and I lose little bit and also to check the. But th there's a video at, from Most. <laughs> Last year, this is unbelievable. Um, but you this did is, it. but yeah, that was you. I did. But <laughs> this one is uh, okay. I'm try maybe now long stoppy. I'm not to try like this. But I'm I'm made. directly you know focused to the the co corner. Yeah. Try the hard braking rear up. Okay, I go. And after the last part, I say okay, rear not down. I'm yeah. lose the brake. <laughs> yeah. And after I try again, but this time I try little bit better stoppy but not not uh, like uh, the normal way this is this one is neutral i'm trying really hard braking yeah yeah but rear up a lot and next wow. next next session i try uh, i see the video i say okay i'm trying a little bit better but i know try the stoppy mm. but not like uh, before the video Have because the other one i don't know i'm just normal riding this one is very good. Uh, Two hundred fourteen meters, I think this. Yeah. Stoppy. Unreal. Have you tried with you dangle your leg, don't you? When you break, you do the leg dangle. Normally the. Have, have the, you tried with your foot on? You can do it with your foot on the peg or not. Normally, I'm always try just a front break, when I'm feeling like not easy stopping the right corner, also or left corner. I use rear break. Yeah. Normally, I'm always use front brake. Yeah. And also more hot condition, you know, the after laps, you know, front tire always uh, sliding a lot, yeah, locking yeah. a lot because of hot condition. <laughs> I use a lot rear brake this time, especially in Mizano. I yeah. try hard braking, but also the last part I use rear brake a lot because the rear always pushing. Yeah. yeah. Engine brake not helping because the hot condition. Yeah. Do you um, use a thumb brake? Or uh, are you here. Oh, your thumb brake yeah. all the time? Do you use? Can you use both? I am. Yeah, both. Yeah, you can. You've got the. Foot. I'm always it's use uh, enter the corner, foot. Corner exit. I use rear brake here. My God. Stop yes. the wheelie and get it yeah. to turn. I I am not to use a lot wheelie control. I don't like Do wheelie control a lot. I am always uh, try to control with the gas and sometimes the rear brake, <laughs> and also I change gear very early corner exit. Okay. Less wheelie control, yeah, yeah. better acceler acceleration. I feeling when little bit wheelie, change gear, front go down and better acceleration. You know, everybody waiting the light. I don't like. 
I'm wait, not After waiting the light. Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. change early by better acceleration. Yeah. More subtle. This is not enough for Ducati, but yeah. it's good. But what, it, that's when you have your style, like being up off the ground all the time, and then you see the Kawasaki and the Ducati, and you're all in that similar like lap time. Yeah. D like how how much do you want to change the bike after that to you know, get those times you know though okay you see the rear up down the heart breaking you know I'm uh, really strong mm. this is good for the race not just the lap time yeah okay it looks lap time is same similar I am right aggressive if I see the front of the rider I'm very easy passing yeah this is a big advantage for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm right alone, same style, you know, the aggressive riding. But if I follow some rider, very easy pass him because, you know, I'm... You just attack on the bike. Yeah, I, I am hard braking yeah. easy and I see the some rider, you know, the this is a good reference for me. Everybody use the brake a little bit earlier than me. Has, I am, any, I has anybody always... ever outbraked you? Huh? Have you ever been outbroken? Has anybody come past you on the brakes ever I'm always uh, the pass yeah nobody ever passed you no as something you know the Johnny sometimes he's passed me and I am not uh, uh, the king of the brake you know just I don't uh, know yeah. Uh, yeah yeah but uh, <laughs> also the, some riders are very fast uh, this is braking you know sometimes you need a good setup yeah mm. yeah I'm always the, the the my bike balance always like this you not, not like this. You Everybody mean, use bike like this because of better turning. If I am right like this, my bike not turning. It's completely different, you know. <laughs> I ride the bike like this, it's bike better turning, feeling, and better stopping. Who who are your who have been your teammates? Um who was your teammate in two thousand and twenty one? Twenty one? Uh Locatelli. Yeah. Locatelli. Yeah. So that must have been really frustrating for him like for data you know swapping data because it would have just been two they, yeah total different motorcycles it yeah would have been, i bet the, the yamaha team must have been going this is <laughs> useless you know what I, mean? I think for yamaha this is good right yeah just one cake <laughs> yeah <laughs> not two cake you know <laughs> yeah it's more not cheap share. for yamaha yeah, you know <laughs> <laughs> <No>. <laughs> Going back to Joe's question, when you talk like uh, other riders around you out breaking, who is your most who is your most difficult competitor in World Superbikes at the moment on track? Who's the hardest rider to pass? This is Johnny, two thousand two and one. I am very enjoying every race. You and Johnny are good friends. Yeah, though. yeah, it's yeah. still it's good. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, important outside, not in the track. In the track, everybody try to best. You yeah. know, uh, everybody fighting for the, the the good position. Okay, we are fighting 2021. is unbelievable, but uh, also he's a good uh, fighter. He's a good fighter. Yeah, I am big enjoying 2021. <laughs> and and after I'm not uh, big fighting with Alvaro and the other riders but Johnny is always is strong very hard this year with Alvaro on the Ducati yeah this year uh, mm. Ducati you know the big improve and Alvaro is a strong rider and good package now Alvaro always riding alone and especially in Misano before I go to testing I did very good lap times but yeah. cold, cold condition mm. and the race weekends more hot condition maybe uh, more than maybe I see I think in testing 35 38 the asphalt temperature mm. in the race weekend 50 right. 53 this is too much yeah and the last grip and also you know I'm not possible did the same lap times mm. and Ducati always uh, good working the hot condition but you know normally I'm waiting good to uh, the position in Misano, just the problem, the hot condition is the bike completely changing. Anyway, we will see here. We are very strong here, especially last year we did three race winning. <laughs> and I hope 
this weekend we are winning again. There we'll isn't the, the there's no long straights here. Yeah, but just the back, uh, you know. Uh, Down Craner. Yeah. Then up, up just through. here a little bit uh, long straight. His bike a little bit advantage, but after the chicane and the braking, we will see. Yeah. 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 You're feeling confident. Uh, yeah. Yeah. Yeah, but I'm not always uh, thinking. Okay, this race weekend I'm winning. I never say this because uh, race always is difficult, and I'm I don't like talking like this. No, no. And uh, we will see. I'm try to my best again. Try to more than hundred percent because I am bored always second and third position. We need the win. Uh, I did in uh, Indonesia, but the short race. I need the long race uh, winning. And we will see. We will see. Yeah, I miss. Mm. I miss the winning. <laughs> yeah. It'll come back. It'll come back. Um, what is your biggest dream? On a bike and off a bike. There's a question. It's a good question. Because mm. biggest again world champion. And after also I'm thinking. Uh, maybe some car racing. Really? Uh, yeah. I'm thinking. Yeah. Right. Yeah. It's it's like because the, I love it cars. Right. Yeah, and uh, I like it the driving, and the, I like also mm. old cars and uh, any cars. I like it. And uh, I'm thinking this like a Rossi. The Rossi. You know? yeah. Yeah. We we spoke to uh, Sylvain Gintoli mm -hmm. and he said exactly the same. Really? Yeah, he said he would like to do Le Mans 24 hour mm. in a car. No, I'm not thinking Le Mans, but I'm more like a race, you know, uh, maybe yeah. GT4. Yeah, GT3 I think for me is uh, too strong. GT4 is possible maybe. <laughs> yeah. But, but you, need you, to win, you need to win another World Superbike Championship. <laughs> yeah. Win one more. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. yeah, later, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Yeah. This dream is later, but I like it because in Turkey also my uh, big hobby is a car. Okay, I go to the training, everything is done in the you know the the night especially. Yeah. I'm always uh, driving the car, you know, right. you know, the working with the car. I like it, yeah. Right. What car is it? Huh? What car? Which which? Car? I have uh, Evo Six, Tommy Makinen. Nice. Uh, Mazda hey. Mazda RX Seven. <laughs> Rotary, Rotary engine, engine, yeah, yeah. yeah. Good uh, 94. Cars. You know the uh, Fast and Furious yeah, first yeah. series, yeah, yeah. The same car, red one, nice. And uh, they go bang a lot. I have now BMW M3 V8, wow, 2008 model, yeah, right. And uh, and also R8 I have V10, 2017 is the new one, but uh, I'm not to like it original one. Now mm. I put a uh, twin turbo this wow. car, yeah. Now the, the, the power, like uh, 1,200 horsepower. Yeah, but not enough. No. <laughs> <laughs> this it's is the problem, again. yeah. Is that four-wheel drive or rear-wheel drive? Four. It is four-wheel drive, drive, yeah. This is good. Do you do all the work yourself with your friends? Huh? Do you do the mechanics yourself? Like you work on the cars yourself? Uh, not too much, mm. but a little bit. Yeah. But... Uh, I'm not possible build some turbo parts, you know, this is not possible. Mm. Because also I have a job, you know. <laughs> I'm a rider. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What if you weren't racing motorcycles or racing cars, what would you be doing now with your life? I say, you know, uh, the the rally cross, you know, rally cross. Yeah, yeah. yeah. The before like a 2016 maybe 15 i try rally cross mm. but a small one not uh, the 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 world champion car yes yeah yeah the, the other one and i like it and also very good driving the red bull asked directly uh, austria red bull turkey asked austria is possible top like also riding motorbike and the car together but red bull say no no yeah but this is the many years ago. What about what about now? I don't know now. <laughs> <laughs> if I'm feeling ready, I ask again. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Coming back to motorbikes. <laughs> okay. I'm just looking. I'm, no, no. I'm just looking at okay. Sarah going. Are we allowed to? Okay, do we this? are. Sorry. We are talked later together. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh, we are I, told again, Lum. I, 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 I must say, like, um, have you, um, one of my heroes is uh, Travis Pastrana. Have you met yeah. him? Yeah. He I, does... I'm not uh, uh, talking with him. I've never seen him. Oh. But I, I know him. I'm watching his video. It's nice, yeah. <laughs> It's very good, perfect. And also my biggest dream now, we used to ask before, but mm. now I remember the the jumping uh, like uh, Travis Pastrana. You see the video? Yeah, yeah. Without parachute. Oh, yeah, Same yeah, like yeah. this. Crack the Red Bull. My is a big out, dream. Yeah. I, I speak with uh, the Red Bull. <laughs> Have you Bull. seen that? Oh, I've seen him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I speak with the Red Bull also this one. Uh, first I say with parachute, and after I say without parachute, uh, Okay, he's Red Bull's thinking now. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You 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 must be uh, hard. No, this is not a joke. <laughs> God, you know, it. really. Yeah. Uh, this is my dream. Have you done a lot of skydiving? Yeah. Yeah. You, you, I jump, you, uh, no parachute, and some guys coming after take yeah. me. Yeah. I hope. <laughs> That's what Pastrana does. He opens a Red Bull. You watch the, the, oh, the I've video. Seen the, oh, yeah. I've seen it. It's incredible. I can. Yeah. You, I, you, I, you remember? You want to yeah. do that? Yeah. I, I'm just looking forward to turning on the telly. And just seeing top rack falling, yeah. out, falling <laughs> out the sky at some point. That is just incredible. But like I tell you what, before we've got like a couple more questions to ask you, but um No problem. Oh no, good man. My, my FP one tomorrow morning. <laughs> <laughs> good man, good man. Like um I, I must in February two thousand and twenty three, you know, uh, there was the, the disaster in yeah. in Turkey. Like that is I must just say incredible because you were you went home and helped out and then you made it to free practice one it, that is just incredible you know what did you one of my qu like, main, main question is did you ask anyone did you just pick up and go back to turkey to help uh like, <laughs> like this you know uh, after the head crack hmm. there's a big one and uh, you ask this question right yes and after uh, we go with Canon uh, because hundred uh, sorry thousand two hundred kilometers my home and uh, this area mm. and we go to with car we take the many generators and uh, we take uh, the some uh, small generators and uh, the clothing you know to some everything you know we try to take uh, uh, some things yeah, yeah for helping and after we go to this area and we stay two days with the car yeah we are sleeping in the car and because everywhere is destroyed and no light no electric you know it's, it's very bad situation here because we are watching just the the tv we are not really understand when we go to this area we are understand this this is really big mm. and uh, and also we are trying to helping the, the some people and uh, some die people you know sometimes we see the is a the lie you know and we are trying to helping mm. we stay just two days and after come back because uh, I come back early I have a race yeah it's just and, and we come back and we stay one day in the my home and after uh, go to the race and but and this is good because uh, the my country, I need help. Yeah, I'm not possible see it and watching, and you know this is very bad, head crack. But now everybody is getting uh, the better. Yeah, and but this is uh, not easy because when you see the the live, it's unbelievable. Yeah, in, in you are not understand the TV. No, 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 no. it's God. completely different. Because a lot of a lot of people would not do what you have done like the fact of just yeah. getting up you know and you thought the old turkey completely the, try to helping yeah. you know some trucks go to the, not some trucks many trucks go to the, this area mm. but we are go directly together with canon <laughs> you know we go not uh, we send the truck yeah because try to help and also we take the um the trailer can I have a car trailer is very big yeah we put uh, the all uh, the generators inside and uh, yeah, we go together but th this is good because I go to there uh, inside more now uh, the feeling is better because yeah. if I'm not go mm. 
just watching the TV, I'm trying to helping the, my inside, not uh, the 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 relax. Yeah, because I'm a seat, and my home the hot. You know, uh, I'm not feeling. Mm. And we see, this is the real, not a uh, joke. Minus eighteen in the night. Wow. Minus eighteen. Yeah, it's an unbelievable cold. You, I stay. I stay the outside uh, five or ten minutes. <laughs> And I am jumping the car directly because unbelievable cold. You you take a mini clothing, but not enough. Wow. Mine is 18 is unbelievable. I see first time also. Yeah. Wow. Incredible. Anyway, now is is getting better and starting the new building, and I hope one maybe two years later, all okay because not just one city, eight cities to destroy. Yeah incredible absolutely incredible like and we've got a, like a few patron questions but um i think we're gonna rake through them absolutely rake through them but while i'm looking for those who is your biggest hero growing up and even now for me is the biggest hero the first my father and after can also go Oh, great. Yeah. Absolutely great. Um, bear with me. I need to ask you a question from, uh, he's a good mate of mine, Ty Kinton. And he said, uh, what's your best, your biggest strength and your biggest weakness? Weak, weakness? Like? What What you do best what are you, what are you bad at? and what you do bad on the bike? On the bike? Yeah. <laughs> the good bits and the he's, bad bits. He's really thinking about but, it. <laughs> not using but engine you brake. Are, yeah, not <laughs> yeah. The, the My biggest problem, engine brake. No, okay. N not being able to set up engine brake. No, not just, you know, you see the stoppy a lot, but also really engine brake, uh, not enough right. for mm. the stop, the last part. And your strength is the brake. And it's a good one. Um, bike is turning is not bad. And good acceleration and okay no engine brake but it's good stopping <laughs> i really want to invite sarah up come on get yourself up here i've got like keep them on first of all sarah uh, what's he like to work with challenging <laughs> <laughs> so what's his biggest strength and biggest weakness then off bike well his biggest strength is riding the bike <laughs> Uh, off the bike, uh, he gets bored easily. <laughs> right? So because I'm not riding the bike. Exactly. <laughs> it's easy. <laughs> Absolutely brilliant. I, I don't like the event. You don't like the event? Yeah, because why? If I'm not riding the bike in event, I don't like I'm bored. So that's a long time to try and keep him entertained. Yeah. yeah. So, But at least tomorrow. Okay, can, normally can I'm, tomorrow. I'm always bored at uh, the interview. This is... Uh, more funny this is good <laughs> we are talking you know smiling this is good yeah. I, not bad i think this is the longest interview you've ever yeah. done yeah yeah this okay. is the record for me fantastic well yeah. an another question for you what's it like to work with sarah <laughs> now i'm scared <laughs> <laughs> i hope uh, we are together with sarah because uh, she's everywhere there's the biggest help for me there we are. and yeah and sometimes also translate. Thank you very much. You're welcome. <laughs> She's Brilliant. always helping me. And yeah. Fantastic, fantastic. Well, bear with me. We've got, well, we'll go for one more on this side of things. Sorry, um, we have uh, Chrissy, um, Chrissy's little sister. She's only 17 and she does mm. all of this, does all the editing and does all the questions, runs. She is an incredible woman. You'll have to meet her, you really will. Um, did, oh, right, from Jess. What's your favorite English dish? English, what's your favorite English meal? Meal. I, I think you have to define English meal. <sighs> oh, Sunday dinner. Fish and chips. Fish and chips. I think that's fish? all we've got to be fair. No, we're, we're, not, we're not much copper or anything. So. <laughs> I mean, chips, chips, okay. chips are good. Chips, yeah. chips. Chips, okay. <laughs> it's a pocket. So, chips, um, okay. McDonald's. Yeah. It's not English, but. You know. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. Sorry about <laughs> Straight away. Uh, before I try also the coffee, English coffee with the milk. Bad. Sorry, sorry. Good or tea. bad? Tea, sorry. Oh, tea. English yeah. tea yeah. with the milk. Good. Sorry, but... <laughs> no. 
<laughs> you, you guys have black tea. It's all filtered through. Fantastic. Have you tried before Turkish tea? Yeah, I think I have. Yeah, yeah. 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 I've, had, nice I've had Moroccan tea as well, which it was Moroccan tea is very similar in the way they do it's it. It's strong, isn't it? though, yeah. isn't it? Oh, yeah. 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 Would you ever do road racing like the TT? You would be brilliant at it. Mm. Normally, I'm not follow uh, TT mm. a lot. Just sometimes I'm watching. Yeah. And but uh, I'm respect all riders because not easy race. My race is more easy than TT. I think yes. Nah. No, this is very dangerous TT. You know. It, it's more dangerous, but your skill level, you know, your consistency. Mm-hmm has to be there with with road racing it's it's because it's so narrow it's you've got there's a big changes but racing at your level at world superbike level is is as we both know it's 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 very 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 hard but but would you do it uh this is not my biggest dream but one day maybe i'm try not a race parade parade just yeah oh fantastic and the, f- Why not? the final question before we let you all kindly go, God love yous, and thank you so much yet again for coming on. But if you could pick three people, past, present, or even now, for your final drink, a big party, and you could only invite three people, who would it be? Uh, it's Chrissy's question, that. That was Chrissy's. Uh, that was the, the party. Big party. Your final party. I'm not doing alcohol. Oh, you don't have to do you doesn't you don't have to do alcohol at all. You know, you bit your last hooray. I think still I'm not drinking alcohol again. So, no, but you, you can say like uh, for dinner, anyone who is alive, not alive, anyone you want to bring to one special last dinner. Three people. Only three people. Who would you pick? So you could you say a... your dad. Yeah. Yeah, it's easy. This, my dad, my yep. mom, my brother. Oh. Wow, bless you. That's that, nice. They are. We we've asked that question to a lot of riders, and you've made them look like fools. So well done. Usually <laughs> people say uh, Einstein or Barry Sheen. Or, <laughs> you say my mum has a brother. Uh, this is uh, nice. For that, yeah. Nice. Yeah, this is more nice. Yeah. Oh, fantastic. But honestly, thank you, thank you very much. so, so much for taking the time. Thank you so much to you yeah, two as well. You. You've been yeah, sitting in the truck. We are talking tr- two hours. <laughs> thank well, you. honestly, well, no it's been absolutely great. And um, yeah, so we'll wrap it up from there. Thank you so much to um, our sponsors, uh, Bennett's Global Moto and uh, Colchester Kawasaki. And thank you so much and good luck You're for welcome. the racing. Good thank luck you for the racing. Cheers. See you in a bit. Chasing the racing. Powered by Colchester Kawasaki, part of the Global Moto Group. We supply new Aprilla, Moto Guzzi, Vespa, Royal Enfield, Kawasaki, Sim, Mutt and Benelli motorcycles.